Hey everyone, how are you doing tonight? I'm Carol Hickman with Chick Stamper and it's time for another Paper Pumpkin Alternative Video Night. Today is uh, September 29th, so the last Wednesday of the month, that's when I do my Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. And whether you're watching me live tonight or you're watching a replay on Facebook or a replay on YouTube, thank you so much for taking the time to take a peek. I love doing these alternative projects each month. Um, Stampin' Up! already comes up with cute ideas uh, for the actual kit, right? So I just think it's fun to take those ideas, turn it into a scrapbook page, and some type of 3D project each month. So tonight I've got a fun um, scrapbook page. It was a little tough this, this month trying to take the product that came in the kit and turn it around into a scrapbook page, but I think it's really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I hope you like it too. And then I've got a framed uh, home decor piece that I think is really cute, would make a great gift, and you can change it up, whatever works for, for your needs. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to give you some good ideas tonight that you can use in your kit. If you're not a subscriber, check the description for this video and you'll find my link. I would love it if you become one of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers and um, you just wanna do it by the 10th of each month. Next month's kit, We've kind of got a flyer here, so it shows the um, uh, September, the October, and then the November kits. And so this top one is what we're working with tonight. And I assume this middle green, evergreen type looking one is what we'll have for next month. I don't know until it arrives, but it'll be fun. So I'm looking forward to that one already. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for joining in. I really appreciate it. Before we get started, you might have seen my flyers. I just wanted to let you know, um, we are tonight is actually the final night of my year in triple treat. So as some of you have read, I'm ever so close and now I'm actually just a few hundred dollars away from earning this year's incentive trip. This will be my third year in a row and I'm really excited. Taking it right down to the wire today. Tomorrow's the last day. So uh, my specials are running through tonight for what you'll receive. And I so appreciate those of you who have ordered this week and also last week during my online BOGO. So that was tons of fun. I met a lot of new friends and so I really appreciate it, you guys. But if you need any product, let me know if you want some help. Otherwise, the uh, ordering info is in the description. So I would appreciate the help and I'm sure we're gonna get those few hundred dollars. Um, and then you'll also see that, what you're gonna get for that, you guys. I've got uh, tutorials to send you, 16 project tutorials that I'm in a collaborative group uh, to send you. I've got this week's class projects for Friday, um, going out to everybody who orders and things like that. So, so take a peek, if your order is 100 or more, you'll get to pick that amount from my online BOGO group as well. So you can shop for some re free retired products. So, all right, you guys, should we dive in? Who has received this kit? Have you enjoyed it? It's so cute. I wasn't really sure what to expect. And you can see right here behind me, I put together the wheelbarrow. Did you know that the box um, has lines on it to be able to cut out all the different pieces and there's a video and you can put together the wheelbarrow and you can see the cute little uh, jack-o'-lantern. I've got a jack-o'-lantern in there and an apple. So the kit itself is adorable and it comes with these different cutouts and they're dual colors so you can pick which side that you'd like if you wanted a red apple or a green apple. Some people I've seen have made the, the green side into Frankenstein so so cute. Um, and there's an orange side, of course, for a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern, but it was kind of cool. So the kit also came with these vinyl stickers so you can make jack-o'-lantern faces. And then lots of these uh, black vinyl stickers, and that's part of making the wheelbarrow. So I'll be posting the uh, wheelbarrow video later on so you can see if you haven't seen it yet, but it's pretty fun, pretty different, right? But just a cute little decoration, so. I hope you guys like it. Okay, let's take a peek. Let me just hold up tonight's projects and then I'll turn the camera down, okay? And we'll take a peek. So here is our scrapbook page. Now, ever since I saw these, <laughs> isn't he cute? Ever since I saw this kit, 
All I could think of were these, um, these pieces, these die cuts look like turkey feathers. So I had to turn them into a turkey. And then our 3D project for tonight is a framed art piece. Isn't that pretty? So using, whoops, using the negatives from the leaves and stamping in those. So we'll make that one as well. But let's start with making this cute scrapbook page. So hang on, let me turn the camera down and let's take a peek. And there we go, let's see. Hopefully you can see it all. Let me get you brought up on my screen, hopefully. And then I can take a peek and see how we're looking. So you can see the bottom there and then all the way up to the cute little turkey. So made with this month's kit, let me get my pieces. So we're gonna start with a 12 by 12 piece of basic white. And then our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock um, is so saffron, which I haven't used in a long time. So it's kind of fun to get that out. And we've got soft succulent and pumpkin pie for our photo uh, framed area. And then these are the three um, turkey feathers that I've chosen to use. And you can see they've got some dimension on them. So they're really kind of fun. And here's the opposite color, opposite side, but we're gonna use these sides tonight. So let's take a peek. I'm gonna trim off these edges or these, these little holders, I should say. And we'll, we won't need those. For turkey feathers, they're kind of in the way, huh? Have you guys put your kits together? I'm also gonna trim off this little hexagon just because I don't need them and he'll be hidden. I think they're pretty cute. They also kind of look like fingers, right? Because they're wide. Well, some fingers, my fingers. I think I have fat fingers. <laughs> All right, let's do this saffron one. I guess this is for like an apple, a golden apple. Golden Delicious, those are kind of green, but you could also color on here a little bit with your ink pads and make it a little, a little green if you'd like. Oops, let's trim these off. Okay. Okay, so this piece is pretty simple. Put this over here so I can see. All right. So we've got our turkey feathers, and I'm we're actually going to use, we're gonna trim off a little bit, I should say. So we're gonna use all five of the first ones. So I'm just going to get some adhesive here and we'll put some adhesive down. And I'm just gonna kind of center it. I'm kind of coming down a little bit, just trying to make it as realistic as I can. Trim that one right off, we don't need him. All right, so then the uh, pumpkin pie colored one is gonna be right in front. So I'm gonna trim off two of those little feathers. And then we'll get these down here. Okay, so here's our, here's our feathers. We'll trim this a little because I think this will show. There we go. Just to make that look a little smoother. So what I wanna do is I wanna put this right at the top um, as close to the center as I can, and right along this top edge. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on here and center this. Eyeball, center it. There we go. All 
Okay. Sorry, guys. I was just making sure that I'm showing up for you. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got this eight and a half by 11 piece of so saffron. So that's going on next. And I, I want it to go down on this edge. Let me see if you guys can see that. So I'm going to come down right along the bottom edge and attach it there. And it will overlap a little bit on the front. Overlap the feathers a little bit, I should say. And again, I'm just eyeballing to center it down here on this bottom edge. There we go, that's a big part of our turkey. Okay, so I've got our photo mat. Um, and I've just got some pumpkin pie and soft succulent. And the pumpkin pie is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Um, and I'm putting it on a piece of soft succulent. That's five and a half by seven and a half. That way it'll hold a five by seven. I think it'll be cute like a family photo or a photo of all the grandkids for Thanksgiving. Be very cute. All right. So we'll put this down. I wanna leave a little bit of room at the bottom because I'm gonna put some letters down here and then we're gonna decorate this right hand side. So I'm gonna kinda of come over here. Let's see, let me get my circles. Make sure I'm kind of up enough. Yep, that should work, okay. There we go. So let me just make sure you can see that. Here's the bottom of our scrapbook page. And I used, let's take a peek. I used the playful alphabet dies to spell out the word grateful. So that's how I got my word on the bottom. And I used a scrap of uh, soft succulent. And what I did is I put that scrap of paper, let me show you. Um, I put some adhesive sheet on the back so that when I cut these out, they would have um, adhesive on the back. So now I can just peel and stick, basically. And we'll see how, I may not get them too straight, because you know how that works when you're on camera and you're in a hurry and you're trying to not make people wait. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put my, well, I'll put it in a little bit. My G there, and let me find my L. There he is, hiding out from us. And we can, if I, I find for me, if I put the first and last letters on, then I can kind of spread out what's in the center. I have a better chance of them being a little bit more even. But doing it upside down, I have no idea how even even this will be, but that's okay. So it's kind of nice having the sticky on the back. Have you guys used these adhesive sheets? They're pretty cool. They come in six by 12 sheets, and then you just trim them if you want to put them on a smaller piece of paper like I did. So that way when you cut things out with your die machine, um, the item already has sticky on the back. Oh, I probably should come over a little bit. I gotta put a few more letters in here, I think. Hang on a second, let's see. Let's put the U in. I don't wanna mess us up. Okay, let's just lay these down now. And to make sure that I spell it right. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Okay. It's coming along. So this is a pretty easy page. Um, 
But again, I just, I looked at these cute little pumpkins and apples and I thought, how on earth am I gonna turn that into a scrapbook page? So I'm glad that I came up with the turkey. And that's really, gosh, the only, that was the only idea. So <laughs> I'm glad it worked. Or we'd all be wondering what I was making. Okay, a little crooked, but that's okay. Now to make this cute little uh, piece on the side, I took some of our gold metallic paper. Have you used the gold and rose metallic paper? It's so cool. Um, I'm also gonna be using it Friday in my uh, mini class. So watch that and I'll show you. Shoot, I guess I don't have any bigger pieces. Anyway, it's a six by six pack and I believe there's four pieces of the rose uh, color and four pieces of the gold. So I used the um, die set from the detailed pumpkins. Aren't these cute? So this one I used obviously, um, but we'll be using this set on Friday's uh, video as well. So if I had them out there in kind of in my brain. So I thought, why not? But we ran it out, ran it through the dye machine uh, with adhesive sheet on the back as well. So it's gonna be super easy once I get it peeled, but super easy to stick down because you're probably wondering, how is she gonna stick that down? Look at that. Oh, but I got a few little, few little pieces in there still I wanna take out. Isn't this gorgeous? It is one gorgeous pumpkin. There we go. How fun is that? And then obviously just have this piece of garbage for the, um, from the adhesive sheet but it just sticks, it lays nice and flat, I love it. So in our kit this month, one of the things that came was this soft succulent sheet of all these fun leaves. So I'm gonna stamp with two of the stamps that came with the set, um, and they stamp the inside of the leaf, like the veining. So let me get some soft succulent ink, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a peek here. And I think it'll be okay if, even if I'm off a little bit from stamping upside down because it's kind of an abstract look. And I need one, two, three for this scrapbook page. Three of the big ones. And one, two, three, four of these smaller, smaller ones. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just kind of stamp, it just gives it a little texture look there. There we go. And these are die cuts, so they're just gonna punch right out. And then I'll just put them on with um, glue dots, dimensionals, depending on where they're going. Alrighty, so that's kind of fun. So for our pumpkin area though, let's get some dimensionals and a couple of these smaller ones and one big one. And we'll just put dimensionals on them and dress up our cute little pumpkin. And we'll put a couple right in the center of this. I think that's an oak leaf. Just to kind of have a little bit there, oh, there you go. Just wanna make sure you can see that. Okay, so let me get my linen thread and we'll make a bow. And then the other thing that came in the kits are these pretty cute uh, raffia wrapped wires. So you can twist them. And so I just got a chopstick out of the drawer and they have wire inside. So it just twists really nicely and quickly. Isn't that fun? So easy peasy, 
And then I'm just gonna kind of bend it and stick it down with a glue dot. And since this is a scrapbook page, you may wanna kind of flatten it a little bit more um, just because you don't want it sticking up in your, in your book, right? It'll take up a lot of space. So you might wanna, might wanna think about that a little bit, but it's kind of fun. And then we can kind of make it however we want. I lost my glue dot, there it is. There we go. Okay, and then we'll make a bow with the linen thread. So I'm just gonna make a double bow. So I just double my thread over. And fold it over and just make a bow as if I just had a single, a single layer of thread there. And we'll just play with it till, till I like it. And then trim it off. And grab another glue dot for that. And we'll put that in there as well. All righty, so we've added a little bit down here on the bottom to dress up our page. Now we gotta finish our turkey. He's missing a few things, huh? So I used the layering circle dies, and I just punched out a couple, couple circles. And this first one, I'm just gonna some adhesive on him, and I'm just gonna get the center of my turkey. There we go. And then this circle I'm going to put up on dimensionals. Okay, so before I do that, let me show you what I did for his little, little gobbler spot. So remember this hexagon that I cut off from one of these turkey feathers? I've got the flowers and leaves punch, and I'm just going to do this little punch right here on the side. And that's where that little piece came from. So I can just put a, a glue dot on the end of it and just put it right down so that when I flip them over, He's got his little gobbler there. All right. Let me, I'm gonna change this circle down a little lower. And I'm still gonna try and center it there. There we go. Just moved it down a, just a little bit. Okay. And then this guy's gonna go up here He's on dimensionals, so a couple things. Let's see, I've got some of the brush metallic adhesive back uh, dots to use for his eyeballs. And I thought I would just use these big gold ones. And then when you see turkeys, they, well, when you see them on cards and you know, cute little character turkeys, they have a little, um, uh, what would you call it? I think it's their, I guess it's their beak. So this same piece, um, but the orange side, I'm gonna just make a, just a triangle, just kind of like a pizza slice. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just gonna put that here. So let me just put a little adhesive on it and we'll put it down nice and flat. And that's just gonna go right there. There we go, okay. So we've got a little bit more decorating to do. We've got these um, 
uh, leaves, extra leaves that we stamped. So we're gonna put those on. And I think we'll just use dimensionals again. Dimensionals were kind of easy to put them on with. So let's do it. And there's no wrong or right. Really, I just was trying to cover up these edges right here. So I just thought it might be kind of cute. Let's see, so we can just put them right there. We're gonna put a little linen thread bow on them so they won't be totally naked up there. We'll give them a little bit of something, something, something. Okay, there's that one. Okay, so now just a couple more bows with a linen thread and we'll be set. And I'll just keep doing double bows here. I just think it looks a little cuter when it's a little thicker like that. And then our page will be done. It will be ready for thanks, cute Thanksgiving photo. Nice little family photo or a grandkid photo. That'd be cute. All right, here we go. <laughs> My fingers aren't quite cooperating. I cut that box apart today to make that wheelbarrow and I think they're kind of paying me back a little. Saying, hey. Okay. Put this one down. So let me know what you guys think. If you think it's cute, if you think that you'll put it together, um, if you'll do, do the scrapbook page like this, have you done the wheelbarrow? What'd you think of this month? Are you saving them for Halloween? Are you gonna use them for uh, neighborhood treats for the kids? That would be fun too. Do you usually get a lot of kids at your house? Ours have dwindled down, but I hear more kids in our neighborhood this year, so maybe we'll have more kids on Halloween. The cycle kind of ebbs and flows, doesn't it, for the neighborhood? All righty. Let's get this last little bow on. This is so stinking cute. I can't wait to show my granddaughters to see what they think. They were excited to get this kit, kit for their friends. Okay, you guys, there we go. Here's the top. And then coming down to the bottom. And this cute little pumpkin from the Detailed Pumpkins. I like it. Oh, yay, Jackie loves the turkey. Thank you. Hi, you guys. I'm so glad you're watching tonight. So I'm gonna take that away. That one's done. And let's get what we need for our cute frame. Here we go. And here's the frame up a little closer. So remember where we punched out those leaves from our piece of paper? So what I did is I cut a piece uh, that had one, two, three leaves and I trimmed up here and then all the way over. So I'm gonna give you a few measurements for this um, uh, home decor piece for this frame, you guys. You could turn it into a card as well, of course. So this negative piece, I cut to one and three quarters by four and one eighth. And then, let me get you the different pieces and I'll tell you those ones as well. This gold piece, one and seven eighths by four and a quarter. In order to stamp, uh, I needed a, a white piece to go behind this on top of the gold, but behind the negative, leaf negative. So this little white piece is one and a half by four. And then these three pieces, soft succulent four by six, because that's what size my frame was, right? Uh, gold metallic, three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then this piece of basic white is three and an eighth by five and an eighth, because I just wanted a tiny little edge 
with the gold peeking out. So you could, if you wanted to save this fancy, beautiful paper, you could use a punch or a die and cut out the middle piece and nobody would ever know. And you would have that middle piece to use on a different project. Um, let's take a peek. You could, look, you could cut this middle piece out of the middle here. And it would be hidden, nobody would see it. <laughs> okay. So I have these four by six frames from Ikea and that's the frame that I use. So again, whatever works for you and whatever size frame, or if you're switching it up, you might have to change your measurements if you're putting it on a card. All right, let's put this over here. Okay, so we've got our soft succulent piece and our uh, white and gold metallic. So I'm gonna glue these down. The white is just gonna go down onto the gold metallic. Again, that gold paper, you guys, it's just gorgeous. It cuts really well. It cuts with the die cuts really well. So you gotta get yourself a pack. It's pretty cool. And it's not too much. I wanna say maybe it's even $5 a pack, but I can't remember for sure. And then we'll put this down on our soft succulent. And I'm centering it as well to my best that I can um, because it's gonna go into the frame, right? Okay, so that's good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just put some glue dots right here onto the edges, just the corners, I guess I should say, of this basic white small piece. And then I just want to, let's turn this leaf negative piece upside down. And then this white piece is just gonna go on top. We don't care if it's crooked because that's all gonna get hidden. We just want everything to be um, uh, enough so that there's white without any edges showing. Okay, so we can stamp that. Let me show you. Got my stamps again. And I'm gonna use those same line stamps that I had um, on the scrapbook page. And again, I'm using soft succulent ink because that's the ink that came with this particular kit. There we go. And just stamping right in the center, as close as I can, I should say, in the center. And let's see. Let's get some adhesive on this. This piece is now gonna go onto the gold, and the gold is going onto our front piece. So I just wanted tiny little um, edges of the gold. You can see just kind of peeking out. There we go. And again, more adhesive on the back. This gold metallic paper is so nice. We've had gold paper or metal paper in the past that the back was hard to lay your adhesive down. But look, this is so nice. It just rolls really nicely. All right, so then my goal here is to center this again, as close as I can there. And back to the cute little brushed metallic dots. And this time I just used three of the small gold ones. You could stamp something here, uh, that would be pretty too. I opted to just put down the dots. And let's see if I could get these in a straight line. Alrighty. So I can put them in here. Now this does have a uh, plastic little cover. I think it will glare if I, it's not glass. So I'll just put this down this way and we'll put the 
the back in. Just make sure I'm, oops, this way. There we go, and we can stand it up. It's got a little stand. If you're ever at Ikea, grab some of these photo frames because they're just really handy to have. And they're cute for holiday decorating and things like that. Let's see if I can get you in better. There you go. Isn't that cute? I hope you like it, you guys. I thought it was a fun little home decor piece for the fall. You could even add a linen thread bow, um, whatever you like. And change up the colors, of course, if you wanted to change it into some other fall colors. Okay, I'm gonna switch you guys back up. Nighttime lighting is always tricky here. Goodness gracious. What'd you think? I appreciate you guys. Oh, hi, Flo. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know if you uh, are doing this month's kit, what you think about it. I, I love to kind of gather information and see what you guys are up to. Um, let me show you a sneak peek for Friday's video. This Friday is my normal, it's the first Friday of the month. So it's my mini class that I do. And with orders, then this week, I send these class packets out with the thank you gift. So they're using the uh, detailed pumpkin dies and, and um, stamps and dies. So these are the cards we'll be making on my video on Friday. So I hope you can take a peek. That's at one o'clock Phoenix time. Uh, which currently we're on Pacific time for Arizona, um, four o'clock Eastern. So you can join me. If not, um, that's okay. You can find me at YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash chick stamper. And be sure you subscribe and ring their little bell and then you'll never miss another video. So, oh, thanks, Kathy. I'm so glad you love it. It was, it was tricky this month. I had a hard time coming up with something, but I just, I wanted to do turkey, but I had no idea how I was going to accomplish it. So I'm so glad it came together. Sometimes, you know, you just kind of keep working at it and then the light bulb goes off. So I appreciate it, you guys. Um, I think that's all I have for you, but I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you come back and watch me Friday afternoon or watch the replay afterwards. If, you, if you're busy in the afternoon, you guys have a wonderful few days until I see you again. Thanks so much. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.